So yeah, my name is Tangerine. I'm an actress, obviously, with a name like Tangerine. I mean, I couldn't be attorney general, right? I mean, I guess I could have been a stripper, but I got this big ugly birthmark in my inner thigh, and in certain angles it spells out, respect me. <laughs> so if I was like on the pole, and then, oh, sorry, dad, sorry, sorry, dad. So that's the only thing that kept me off the pole. So yeah, I'm a serious actress. I've been doing this for like over a decade. I've worked with everybody from Bella Thorne to Issa Rae to Cedric the Entertainer to Larry David. I am on a sitcom that has already gone six seasons and today I was shooting a film that's gonna be in theaters in 2019 and apparently none of that shit matters because I still needed to be introduced tonight. <laughs> I mean, I see how you guys are looking at me. You're looking at me like, bitch, I ain't never seen you in shit. And I'm hurt. You're rude, sir, you're rude. You're rude. Ma'am, it's disrespectful. I've worked hard and I'm, I'm, I, I'm hurt because I thought for sure you guys would recognize me. I mean, don't you remember the show Wanda at Large? Yeah. I was booty shaker number one, guys, huh? Five and six and seven and eight and nine and 10 and nothing. <laughs> All right, you guys aren't Wanda Sykes fans, that's fine. All right, what about the show Without a Trace? That show was a hit, it went for a long time. All right, take a good look at me, sir. I was hooker number one. Uh, some fine prostituting I did there, yeah. So those are the kind of decisions I'm making in my life, and it's kind of, it's kind of frustrating. Thanks for laughing at my career, ma'am. It's kind of frustrating and I was ready to throw in the towel and then finally my agent called and she goes, Tangerine, you have an audition for the Sarah Silverman program, check your email. And I was like, oh snap, I love Sarah Silverman. This could be my big break. Excellent. All right, so I look at the email, I scroll down, I see the role, it's for crack whore number one. And I was like, whoa, crack whore? Crack, crack head apparently wasn't enough. Crack whore is what I'm being submitted for. Is this how people see me? I'm pissed, I'm pissed at society, I'm pissed at Hollywood, I'm pissed at my agent. So I scroll down, I hit reply and I say, I'll be there. <laughs> Thank you for this opportunity. <laughs> Cause folks, I get hungry every day. So I was like, all right, I'm actor prepares, let me study. So I studied, you know, good crackhead roles. I studied Halle Berry and Jungle Fever. I studied Pookie in New Jack City, Chris Rock. I wanted to keep it current. I studied Lamar Odom in real life. I was like, all right, I'm ready now, I'm ready now. It's time for wardrobe. So I go in the closet, I get out my crackiest outfit. That's uh, the booty shorts, the oversized wife beater, no bra, nipples just a dangling. Then I put dark makeup under my eyes so I can look real old. And then the finishing touch, baby powder. I put that on my, my lips and on my knees so I could look extra dry and ashy and cracky. I got that from Chris Rock. <laughs> and then I was ready. So I go to the audition, I do the lines, I come out and I leave a little bit of my soul and dignity in the room. It's okay, I don't need it. I'm an actress. So by the time I get home, I find out I booked it. And uh, yeah, thanks. Thanks for clapping for me for that role. And uh, so I was like, all right, agent, oh, what's the offer? And she goes, oh, they want you to play crack whore number three. Crack whore number three? Wait a minute, all that fucking work I put in to play crack whore number three? I don't care who got crack whore number two, ma'am, but who the fuck got crack whore number one? Who out crack whored me? And then I get to the set and I see crack whore number one. And let me tell you something, people. She deserved it. <laughs> Come to find out, crack whore number one was played by an actual crack whore. In fact, she hit the pipe right before we rehearsed and I was like, oh, she's method. She's a method actress. And I was like, all right, well, good for her. Let me congratulate her on the role. I went to introduce myself. She offered to give me head for $4. I was like, whoa. That's a really good deal. <laughs> Meet me behind the makeup trailer when we wrap. So uh, Ginger and I have been dating for about six months. <laughs> and uh, we are registered at Bed Bath & Beyond under Mrs. and Mrs. Whore. <laughs> I'm Tangerine, crack whore number three. <laughs>
Bingo!